Hi, this is Daniel Hutchins, and today we are going to do a special article. We are going to read some more news off of my favorite website for information. You guessed it, Cinema Blend. So, today on Cinema Blend, the news we are going to talk about is this question, which is would the Russo brothers return to Marvel to reveal Captain America's time travel story from, you know, the hit movie Endgame? Uh, this was recent, about a few days ago. So I hope you guys enjoyed the information I have that I want to read to you. Okay, enough of that, so let's read. Okay, so Avengers Endgame was already long over three hours long to be more precise. But as soon as the Russo Brothers film reached its final moments, we have to admit we would have held on a bit longer just to get a few more minutes of Steve Rogers and Peggy Carter's happy ending. As you would likely remember, when Thanos is defeated at the end of the movie, Captain signs himself up to return all of the Infinity Stones back to their proper places in time. And in the process, decides to stay in the past and have the life he always dreamed of. Okay, so for the past year we've certainly been curious as to what Cap's time travel trip would have been like. But we certainly understand why it wasn't included in the blockbuster. It could easily be an entirely separate Marvel Cinematic Universe adventure to tell. But is it a story that Joe and Anthony Russo would actually want to tell? Hmm, good question. When the directors were asked if they would want to be interested in exploring that specific storyline even further, to some point down the line, they told comic book movie, it would be a great story to tell, no question about that, but I don't know whether it needs to be told, but it would be a great story to tell and we'd love to tell it, but I think there are other stories to move on to now. Okay, so that's the quote that they said. So, this is a double-edged sword of a question that is understandably complicated for the film making brothers to answer. One side of things, the Russo certainly love making a movie centered on Chris Evans, Captain America, his time travel journey has the opportunity to create a ton of fun easter eggs within the MCU. But as they say, it may not need to be told due to how masterful, masterfully the writers wrapped up the first Avengers arc. Since Avengers Endgame came out, fans have been a bit confused about how exactly the time travel science worked. When Captain America uses it at the end of the film, there's certainly been questions surrounding how Steve Rogers can end up with Peggy Carter and deal with this button romance with Sharon Carter earlier in films. Sounds like it's a really awkward situation. However, Endgame writers Christopher McFeely and Stephen Marcus once explained the reasoning for the time travel moment, saying this quote below. We are not experts on time travel, but the ancient one specifically states that when you take an Infinity Stone out of a timeline, it creates a new time. So Steve going back and just being there would not create a new timeline. So I reject that Steve is an alternate reality theory. I do believe, however, that there is simply a period in world history from about 48 to now where there are two Steve Rogers. And anyway, for a large chunk of that, one of them is frozen in ice so it's not like they're be running into each other. Okay. 
So it's true that by the time that original Steve Rogers got carved out of the ice, the other one would have already been the happy old man who gives Anthony Mackie Sale Medicine his shield. Apparently, old man Cap was 112 years old in that scene, meaning he was probably just about 100 around the time the events of the Avengers occurred, which the MCU is coming off about a decade of focusing on Cap and Iron Man, and also moving forward the universe, which will get to explore more characters from the comics, including the Eternal, Saint Chai, Blade, and at some point, maybe, the X-Men and Fantastic Four, since Disney had the rights to these characters again. The upcoming Disney Plus series, Falcon and Winter Soldier, which I myself am very, very excited for, is sure to deal with Cap's legacy in some way once it drops on the streaming service. As for Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 4 in general, the first project released would have been Black Widow, hitting theaters on November 6th, but stay tuned on our website, Cinema Blend, for more Marvel updates. Now, if you don't have articles sent to your mailbox from Cinema Blend, I, myself, as a fan of Marvel, would highly, highly, highly recommend you start getting email notifications from Cinema Blend because their information is information that I trust. And I believe that you guys would trust it as well. So, please uh, check out the article and once you check out the article or you, wa or you just want to watch my video, that's fine. Just um, share your thoughts down below in the comments and if you get a chance, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. And you guys have a nice night. Bye.